What is the state of America's health? Well, the state of America's health is very mixed. Um, there are quite a number of people who are embracing better health. They're eating healthier diets and you can see the evidence every time you go into the grocery store, there are more vegetarian and vegan options than ever. The dairy case is hardly a dairy case anymore because there's soy milk and rice milk and almond milk and oat milk and everything is out there. And so there are a lot of people who are really embracing health and they're putting it to work uh, for themselves. That said, there is a far greater number of people who are still struggling with obesity and diabetes and heart disease and cancer. And in some ways we're losing that battle because these conditions are hitting us earlier and earlier in life. Uh, diabetes, instead of arriving at 40, arrives at 14. Um, we've got our work cut out for us. You wrote a book called Your Body in Balance, The New Science of Food, Hormones, and Health. What was it about and, and why did you write it? We had discovered that we can really <clears throat> elevate our approach to nutrition. The, the, the old approach, if I can put it that way, is you eat bad foods and you get excess weight or you get a high cholesterol, you get a heart attack. But the more slightly more compli complex approach is that everything in your body is regulated by hormones. Hormones control so much of human physiology. And the news is that we can control our hormone hormones based on what we eat. I'm talking about thyroid hormone. Your thyroid is at the base of your neck. It gives energy to your body. And your thyroid depends in large part on what you eat. Nobody knows that, they don't know how to use it. So every day in their life, they're feeling sluggish and out of uh, sorts but it's a pretty easy matter to choose foods to, to get your thyroid working right. Um, insulin is another hormone um, which regulates blood sugar, unlike thyroid hormone, which regulates body energy. And you can get your insulin working better based on what you eat. And you have estrogen and testosterone and so many hormones. And Your Body in Balance is a book that I wrote to be kind of an owner's manual to show you how to fix up each of the hormones in your body that um, where foods can play a, a role. And for me, it was a, a revelation and I wanted to share. Do you recommend bariatric surgery? Um, in the clinic that we run, we don't do bariatric surgery or recommend it, but um, we do have colleagues uh, who do bariatric surgery. Um, that said, uh, it's important to recognize that that overweight comes from eating habits, uh, maladaptive eating habits, which can be a mixture of, of a whole variety. There are many, many reasons why these can occur. Um, but when we can get our eating habits in better, uh, on, on, on track better, um, bariatric surgery is very rarely something you would even consider. Um, but there are people who make a case for people who are in an extremely tough spot. Um, where nothing they have done has really worked um, and they have found good results for bariatric surgery. But it is never a decision to be taken lightly. Um, it has a certain mortality and it has a lot of unpleasant long-term effects that go along with it. So e bariatric surgeons all know this and they counsel patients very carefully before going in this direction. Um, let me also say that having bariatric surgery does not mean that you don't have to follow a healthier diet because if you don't, um, all that weight comes back and the, um, despite the fact that you've had surgery, you can have a, a really terrible result. So the best thing obviously is to follow a healthy, completely plant-based diet years before the bariatric surgery decision would ever be made and hopefully you will never need it. Is there a way to stop cancer from spreading if you have it and stop it from coming back for people in remission? Researchers have focused on certain kinds of cancer, looking at survival, Probably the best known is, um, is the, the category of hormone-related cancers. Here I'm speaking of breast cancer and prostate cancer. And researchers have found really very clearly that for if a woman has previously been diagnosed with breast cancer and she's concerned, will the cancer come back? Could the cancer come back and could it kill her? Um, there are certain things that do seem to help. Um, one is reducing fatty foods. One is uh, greatly boosting uh, vegetables and fruits, along with a lot of good physical exercise. Uh, lacing up your sneakers seems to be a good idea. 
avoiding dairy, particularly high fat dairy, um, seems to be important in this regard as well. Um, the mortality figures for women who have had cancer in the past and who are continuing to consume high fat dairy are really just frightening. And I don't know if that's because of the estrogens in the dairy, um, it, it, that's probably the explanation, but it could be other things too. Uh, for men, uh, Dr. Dean Ornish, who is really a great genius, um, after showing that heart disease was reversible, then did a really important study in men who already had prostate cancer, showing that their course after diagnosis could be really dramatically affected based on what they eat. And, and the themes are pretty clear. Get the animals off your plate, get them off completely. Don't follow a Mediterranean diet or a lacto-ovo diet. Get rid of the animal products, vegan diet, plant-based diet. Um, keep oils really low, eat natural, healthy foods, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans. Don't forget your vitamin B12 supplement and that kind of thing. But that's the general um, area with regard to nutrition. And of course, you do want to add uh, exercise as appropriate. Um, try to handle stress in your life in some way other than drinking, smoking, doing unhealthy things. Uh, put those put those things together. You got a pretty good uh, pretty good regimen.